breaking news. Peter Obi has come out to confirm what we already know, that the so-called Yes Daddy audio tape is fake. This is no longer news. What is interesting is that Peter Obi had to respond. I suppose it had to because of the viral nature of the audio and the somewhat uncoordinated response by Labour Party spokespeople. I will speak a bit more about this, but first, let us hear what Peter Obi said himself. Quote, the present attempts by the APC as a party and the APC-led government through some government officials and agencies to divert our attention from our blatantly stolen mandate is unfortunate and sad. These have come and continue to manifest in different ways, such as the malicious accusation of the Minister of Information, Mr. Lai Mohammed, the circulation of a fake doctored audio call and the pressure on me to leave the country. End of quote. Peter Obi continued by saying, let me reiterate that the audio call being circulated is fake and at no time throughout the campaign and now did I ever say, think or even imply that the 2023 election is or was a religious war. During the elections, I repeatedly stated that no one should vote for me based on tribe or religion. The attempts to manipulate Nigerians is very sad and wicked. Our legal team have been instructed to take appropriate legal actions against People's Gazette and others. He continued by saying, While we call on all concerned Nigerians and the international community to implore the APC and the APC-led government to stop their nasty attacks, my focus and commitment is to lawfully and peacefully retrieve our mandate to secure and unite our nation. Elections are over and we are in court to retrieve our stolen mandate. Let me reiterate that we are doing so through all lawful and peaceful options in line with our legal system and constitution. And I continue to implore all Nigerians to remain peaceful and law-abiding. End of quote. I do not think you can get any more forceful a response than that. My only problem is that this comes a bit too late. The initial response by the Labour Party seemed uncoordinated and bungled. Kenneth Okonkwo was saying his own thing and the others were just flailing around. The message was uncoordinated. I hope they learn from this because these attacks are not going to stop. Perception is everything. The Labour Party needs to be proactive and coordinated in its response to attacks on Peter Obi and the Labour movement. If they need help coming up with effective responses, there are very many in the obedient family that can help, including my humble self. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. Yeah.